Hey everybody, my name is Jeremy, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how much money I put into this thing and how much money I've gotten out of it so far. Alright, so this is pretty, pretty high tech right here. I got a piece of paper. I just wrote it down. So, just real quick. Um, I'm going to go over two categories here. This is what I did when I built this pick pickup. And keep in mind, you know, I said it in one of the last videos, this is kind of a prototype machine. So I wanted to build it as cheap as possible. I would not recommend doing that because I've had to do a lot more work because I went kind of cheap, too cheap. Um, so anyway, this other column is going to be more of a um, what you should spend. So anyway, cost of the pickup. I paid $2,000 for this pickup. I think it was actually like 2,200, but anyway, bought it so cheap because it was wrecked. And this was, you know, whatever, seven, eight years ago. So um, what a guy should in, um, figure on spending is more like around 15. That would buy a pretty decent pickup uh, in the 150, 200,000 mile range, uh, maybe with a little dent or something. Um, the other option, if you wanted to buy a Cummins motor and all the drivetrain components, uh, that'd be close. And then what I did right here, uh, I'm going to skip down one real quick. This is rebuild, rebuild transmission transfer case. Um, I did that before I put it in here, so that's two grand. And I'm just going to say if you built the, rebuilt the motor transmission transfer case, you'd have between seven and ten. Um, depending on how much money you put in the motor. If you want to put out, you know, four, four or 500 horsepower, that number's obviously going to go up. Um, but yeah, back up to here, two and a half ton trucks. I paid about two grand, or no, I, I did that wrong. I think it was more like around three. Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, just a minute, I can't make this GoPro turn back on. So yeah, I paid about three for my um, two and a half ton truck. I think what I was actually figuring is by the time I sold everything that I didn't need, um, I was probably actually around 1500 and what that bought was obviously all three axles, frame, suspension. So I don't know. You guys can leave a comment below. I've thought about calling some of the, uh, the uh, wrecking yards for the two and a half ton trucks and just seeing what it would cost to get three axles frame suspension. Um, and every time I do that, I get on Craigslist and I just find a truck that's running and I just go and buy it and drive it home. So in this day and age, I just bought a truck about two, three months ago. I paid seven for it. Um, by the time I get rid of everything I don't need, you know, I'll probably be in the 3000 uh, mark and so yeah between three and ten depending on how nice a truck you find that's kind of where that's at i already went over the rebuilt stuff because you know if you're going to do this you're going to want to have everything all rebuilt good to go right from the get-go all right how much do i have into wheels uh i built the wheels i have zero into them except for time uh because basically i just took two two and a half ton truck wheels this these uh, split rims, the, the killer rims. You can see it's got that killer ring in there. And I just cut cut them and made them a lot wider. I don't remember, I think they're at least 12, I can't remember now, 12, 14 inches wide now. Uh, gusted them up, so far so good, I haven't had any problems. So anyway, took a lot of time. Uh, once you get kind of going with it, you can almost do a wheel a day, but still, it's a lot of work. Um, so yeah, tires, about 2,000. They're about 300 a piece to buy decent used tires. I siped these for a little more traction, but yeah, you can pick these up for about 300 a piece delivered to your farm. Um, I probably would have gone with a more aggressive uh, tread pattern, but these are not as desirable, so you can get better quality, or I mean, less wear and tear for less money. Um, and they seem to be fine, you know, as far as traction, um, I'm pretty happy with them. 
Uh, if you were going to go to like a Les Schwab or a commercial tire, um, I, I'm just kind of guessing here on today's pricing because I haven't really asked anybody. But six to ten thousand, somewhere around there for wheels and tires. That might not even be close. But anyway, I believe I asked Les Schwab's before I uh, bought the tires for my little white pickup sprayer, and I think I think it was about seven thousand. But that would have been like ten years ago. So anyway. All right, so let's see. Used sprayer controller. I am using an E-Pro in this sprayer. It's Invisio. You've probably seen it. It's up in there in that mess of a cab. And uh, you can pick those up used for about three grand. Um, if you want to buy a brand new setup, uh, leave a comment down below. I really haven't priced it for a while, but I'm guessing it would be at least ten to fifteen thousand. All right, so steel, um, I don't really, I didn't really add it all up real closely. Obviously there's a fair amount of steel sitting there on the boom and everything, but I'm just guessing right around five grand. Um, eh, let's see here, so steel, I put, I put 10,000 on what you should spend because I'm hoping my next boom's even better than this one and it will be 100% aluminum. It, well, not 100%. The whole back end, this back chunk back here, it'll all be steel. I think everything works great back here as far as the steel, but yeah, I want to go all aluminum. So that'll obviously cost more. And let's see here. So yeah, I put 10 on there. Tank, I don't know. I'll probably just end up using another one of those generic tanks. They're only about a thousand bucks. Um, as far as the cradle, that just kind of, that's part of the steel that I bought. You can see I built the cradle back there, um, bolted it on the frame. Everything's removable. I can, there's just four bolts up there, um, whatever, eight bolts on the back. This whole assembly can lift up off here. And I'm hoping I never have to do it. But anyway, if I ever have to change that tank, it will have to come off. All right, so tank. So we got hydraulics. I spent about two thousand, and what that what that bought was basically these electric hydraulic pumps. And I'll get into that. Um, I'll, I'm planning on making some other videos about you know just what I did and why I did it. Anyway, I'll get into that and why I use those. There's actually two more. Uh, pretty cheap and efficient. And I just don't really need them a lot. So anyway, uh, if you wanted to go hog wild and uh, put together a closed loop hydraulic system, either run off the transmission or off the motor somehow, I'm just guessing you'd be in the neighborhood of around five grand. So spray pump, I've got about a thousand dollars into that. Or actually, no, I think the pump itself is 300. The putt putt, it's Harbor Freight. It's going on year like four, I think. I think I've been running this for like five years. I think I had a different setup on there the first year and I didn't like it. So, four years. I mean, it's like a $250 motor. Cheap, works great. So, if you wanted to go a little bit fancier and you went with closed loop hydraulic, you could go with a hydraulic pump. And I'll get on. I'll get into why I didn't do that. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll do it on the next build or not yet. Uh, it's a lot more money, and there are some disadvantages to doing this. So anyway, so just other. I just put two thousand. Just whatever. I don't know. There's obviously lots of nickel and dime type stuff. So that puts. I guess I didn't write this down, but that puts what I did at about twenty-one to twenty-two thousand. And if you go all out and kind of try to make a really fancy one, you're at about $80,000. Sorry, I don't know if I was holding this close enough. So let's go over the numbers on sprayers. Um, for people that don't know spraying, I don't know what the current rate um, guys are charging. I mean, this is different probably throughout the country too. But in the last five years that I've been running this, if I was to go out and do custom spraying, it's about seven and a half dollars an acre. So that being said, it's 2022. I'm assuming that rate will probably go up because inflation is out of control. And so let's see. 
I've been using, actually I should have put that line on the bottom. So I get over six to 8,000 acres a year. I would consider myself kind of a smaller farmer actually in, in, on the Palouse here. And um, if you go with that $7.5 an acre, you are looking at between $45,000 and $60,000 a year of income that this sprayer would make. Sorry, gotta turn the heater back on, it's getting cold. Um, so yeah, between $45,000 and $60,000 a year if you were just out doing custom work. Now keep in mind, I, um, I do everything else on the farm too. I do all the seeding. Um, I do all the cultivation. I mean, we run a no-till, so that cuts down on the on the manpower as well. Um, but yeah, I run a heart. I run a combine during harvest. So, I mean, this 8,000 uh, acres. Um, that's just I do it all by myself. So that's one of the beauties in this design. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't have anybody help me move or anything. It's just I love that part. Um, so anyway, yeah, I've been running this thing. I don't remember if it's five or six years, but uh, somewhere around there. And if you figure around 50 grand a year, uh, this thing has literally made a quarter of a million dollars in its, whatever, five years of life. And uh, I've got 22,000 into it. So yeah, I mean, it's a lot of maintenance, or it's a lot of work. It's been quite a bit of maintenance because, and I'll get into some of the things I definitely would have done different. Um, but all in all, I'd say it's a pretty good return on investment. And not only that, um, I save a ton of manpower because I can do it all myself. Um, the maintenance is really pretty simple. It's just like a big pickup. So that's kind of a plus. Not to mention it's pretty darn cost effective. Um, if you didn't watch my, my other video on the review, I think I mentioned something that I, I've yet to you know rebuild the transmission transfer case again um so i don't know how long that kind of stuff will last but anyway i mean cost per acre i just i feel like it's kind of untouchable um for what it does now obviously if you're a level land farmer and you grow corn uh, i don't think this is gonna work <laughs> But on the other hand, if you need an extra sprayer that you can just like, oh man, I gotta go hit that 120 or I gotta go hit that 350 or whatever, you know, uh, soybean, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really a corn soybean guy. All we do out here on the Palouse is wheat, barley, canola, peas, lentils, garbanzos. Um, so yeah, uh, most of that, most of those crops are sprayed when it's pretty short. So, this is the perfect size for that. In fact, I do a lot of fungicide spraying with this thing. Uh, the wheat just kind of bends down and then pops back up. And I've even been thinking about putting really narrow tires on it. So that will be a future build, whatever. Um, but yeah, as far as the cost per acre, yeah, it is it's pretty darn good. And I think I mentioned in one of the other videos, it it's very uh, fuel efficient. You can get over like 40 plus acres an acre or on a gallon 40 <laughs> let me say that again 40 acres a gallon there you go so yeah that's pretty cost effective and uh and then the fact that i'm not actually driving it to field to field i mean your truck I, it doesn't even know it's back there i've got just a standard you know tandem axle semi um 3200 gallon tank you put this behind there i mean when the truck's fully loaded with water, yeah, you can tell this is back there. It does slow you down a little bit, but all in all, it just doesn't, you can't even hardly tell it's back there. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, don't forget to stay tuned, leave a like. Uh, new videos are gonna be coming out. Hopefully I can get started on my next project here in February. And don't forget, keep it super cheap.